good afternoon on Wednesday the 18th of December it's vlogmas day 18 and the weather here is absolutely horrendous today it just doesn't know when to stop raining and everywhere's flooded and the boys are continually getting wet the morning has flew by and I don't have anything really to share it was one of those mornings where I seem to have got nothing done and yet some things have been tidied up so that's good. I'm just basically focusing now for the rest of the week on trying to get organised for um, delivering some Christmas presents, having some visitors and Sunday lunch. That's the priorities but I thought I would share a couple of things with you just um, I got my yarn for my finger um, yarn for my wrist warmers in the post today from Ellie of Craft House Magic and it is the Thriller, her Thriller colorway and it's on 80% Superwash Blue Feast Laster and 20% Nylon in a high twist. So I'm looking forward to getting them cast, getting them cast on. The colors may be coming, yeah that's probably more accurate of the color there. And it also comes with a little 5 gram complimentary mini which is so, so pretty. I'm going to keep that because um, I think I've changed my mind on the pattern I'm going to use for my Christmas Eve cast on and uh, that may well may well be used we'll see I can't even remember I have the yarn and all organized I can't even remember the colorway so um, we'll have to see we'll look at that we can chat about that another day so yes that came in the post um, the other thing that arrived is something I've been waiting on for a long time. I have always wanted to have for my started knitting socks a sock box and um, one of the girls that live close by does a lot of wood painting and things and she made me this here. It's just a, a plyboard, plywood probably, wooden box but it's so smooth and um, she has distressed painted it and uh, I, I'm really really liking it. It says my socks may not always match but my feet are always warm. Um, I got that on the, the internet so it has like a magnetic type clasp on it and inside is just smooth wood so I'm looking forward to setting that out on my dresser and putting my socks in it. So yeah, that was the second thing that came. The other thing I'm doing just at the minute is I am checking over just my menu to see that I have all the ingredients in stock for the weekend. I am making a, a pear and tarragon vinegar starter and my mains are going to be a Moroccan style lamb and garlic beef and I think the two flavours with the garlic in both actually should should match um, and taste quite well together. Not everyone eats lamb, so I thought I would I would do the, the two choices. I shared this book, I think, before. It's the Agar Roast book um, by Louise Walker, and I really like it because of the cooking times, etc., that we talked about one day for the Aga, and the Moroccan uh, lamb and the, the garlic beef. Both recipes are coming from that book. Um, the dessert, then, is... Uh, um, going to be an orange um, it's called orange chiffon cream it's ba basically oranges and cream and um, orange juice etc in uh, set in a short crust pastry base and it comes from this book the cookery year I got this book probably nearly 35 40 years ago um, as a prize in my local church Sunday school for answering some questions and doing an exam. It's by the Reader's Digest. It's a brilliant book. It covers everything. It teaches you from your vegetables right through to vegetables that are in season. Um, it also covers your, your meat. Um, it covers pork, veal, your chicken and it gives you where all the cuts of meats and things come from and the best way to cook them and um, the recipes then are all divided up into per month so you get 
ideas for food that is readily available within each season which is really good because it cuts down on the expense you're not buying vegetables and things out of season and it's, I think it's brilliant because today um, you know you're going into the shop and you're buying your meat and it's or even in the butchers you know it's it's pre-cut and it's just sitting there and um, I know with people here a lot of people aren't actually aware of where the cuts of meat and things come from and probably you know they aren't aware that you know an animal the process it goes through and um, you know the hanging process etc to make sure that the meat is tender um, you know they're just it's just like a ready a ready meal really and um, this book it's 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 really inspiring I, I love it um, I'm not sure whether it's still in print or not but um, it's one I always have to hand and the, the recipes are practical and yeah the stuff's easily easily available for good wholesome cooking so that's just what I was checking over and I think I have most things in the cupboard already apart from my fresh and the other thing I wanted to ch share was um, I know I don't share maybe an awful lot of knitting content because I've run my knitting down just at the moment but I'll tell you about my socks in a minute but this is one of the first projects that I knit in an adult size and it's probably knit um, most 15 to 18 years ago and it's an iron sweater um, it was a sardar pattern it's knit in commercial yarn and um, I wouldn't know whether there was even any wool in it it may just all be acrylic and it's knit in the traditional iron cream colourway and it has the various iron cables etc and a lot of the iron, iron stitches. I think there's maybe five or six different sets and I remember knitting it and having pages of notes because some of the pattern was maybe four rows, some of it was eight, another one was maybe ten and to make sure that it was all it was all right it took an awful long time to, to knit it the children were small knitting was limited and i think i used to knit it probably on a saturday night when the children went to went to youth club with andrew it just has the traditional sort of fold over neck and so down and then the arms the arms are the same, the cabling on them and the moss stitch etc. And the cabling goes right down the right down the centre of the arm as well. Like so. It's a beautiful it's sad because here we don't often get the weather to wear heavy sweaters and Andrew would be inclined to wear a, a coat and a t shirt or light shirt, maybe more than a sweater because it's always wet here. And um, it doesn't get as much use as it, it probably could but it's lasted really well for the use that it gets I'll put it up on the mannequin maybe and get some better photographs but the back's the same as well the pattern is the same on both sides so um, this incoming year I definitely want to knit myself some things last year I just got onto a, a complete roll with socks and I have have yarn in stock for, for items that I've chosen for myself but never never knit them so I'll share that with you another day. I know I want to I want to have some items for myself um, for yarn that I did purchase this year. And the last thing is my socks. The sock that I showed yesterday that I was getting on well with. I turned the heel, did the heel last did the heel last night and was really pleased with it. Left the bag sitting beside my chair this morning. I am dog sitting today with little Poppy and she had a blast with my bag and my knitting. The bag's okay. The knitting is chewed beyond description. Um, the threads are all obviously they're all cut and chewed so the yarn that's in the sock is destroyed and the the ball there's some of it will be possibly be able to be saved but the majority of it is 
attitude. So you are the only people that know about that because I didn't want to say to my son because it really was my own fault. So we'll keep it a, keep it a secret and uh, I will always zip my bag or put it into the cupboard again. Nine times out of ten I don't even bring my knitting up into the kitchen in the mornings. I only go for it in the afternoon if I'm going to do a row or two. But I don't know why, I just brought it up this morning and set it at the side of the chair and I wasn't expecting to be dog sitting. But anyway, it's a good job my lovely new yarn has arrived because I probably will just cast on my uh, wrist warmers and get on with them. And I will have to forget about my socks. Thank you for yesterday for the comments. Um, I do appreciate them. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Um, there probably wasn't a lot of content in it, but that's just the day as it was, and this is the day as it is today. Um, I don't know whether I'll pop on again later or not. This might be it for today. And any, um, if I have any photographs, I'll pop them in too. But as I say, it's just so dark and dismal, um, the, lighting's, the lighting's away with it and I'm not going anywhere this evening and um, so I'll just be sitting knitting. If I make any progress of course on my wrist warmers I'll um, pop up some photographs. So I hope this finds you enjoying your day. I hope you um, are able to get some time in for a little bit of crafting and I will catch up with you either later on or tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye for now.